Well, hello and welcome to Jimmerism Total Notary Channel. Today we will take a look at the Sobrek Dreadnought by one of our favorite creators, Deep Space Mechanic, whose builds we have reviewed many times because many of them are an incredible incredible quality and uh, also design very unique and nice design on many of these so I saw this a good while ago and now we're finally taking a look at this beautiful ship so to make sure that I don't pronounce any name wrong I'm just said Sobek sorry I mean Sobek so that's a thing and this is the Sobek Dreadnought. So, let's uh, check around a little bit what this Dreadnought has to offer. And we can see we have this... Um, like, I don't know, maybe it's uh, Deep Space Mechanics logo, this crossed... Uh, um, Quiff Neckler. Or it's not, it's just... No shift. Anyways. Now we got lost here. Uh, so. Of course this is pretty large build. And uh, it can be difficult to know where we should start to look at this. Um, we can see a fair share of anti-missile turrets. All around it. It has a very interesting shape. I like the shape of the craft. Um, <laughs> Straight off the bat, I think maybe... Maybe... A alternative color scheme could have served this ship well. Yeah, I think so. Maybe, maybe if the teal was red instead and, and the red details were, I don't know, orange or something, it could make a really interesting, interesting um, color. But that's only a minor, a minor thing there, of course. Now, here we have very small turrets, um, of course. They're pretty, pretty small beam turrets. Um, won't deal huge amounts of damage, but might indeed take out smaller um, crafts, drones and stuff like that pretty well. But they look really nice. They're kind of this sleek design and uh, they look pretty futuristic. So this is a, this is a design of turrets. I can say I see very often like this very rounded shape. It's kind of interesting to me. I, I like them. Um, I kind of wanna, let's check them later when we're in somewhere. <clears throat> and here we have, uh, you can see this engine is actually put here welded, tilted. Uh, that means we need to remember to inherit the thrust of the docked entities. Oh God, no, lag fleet comes, I'm gonna crash right into us, right? <laughs> They're so incredibly stupid. God damn it. In any case, I think this might be a turret thing too. Oh god, why? Why? Any case, um, like seriously, this, this, this game's AI has to be, has to be fixed. It's like, <laughs> in-game fleets, it's like the first thing you turn off every time <laughs> you, you start the server <laughs> I have to turn them off because they're too stupid to to be played you, ca you can't play with them they're so stupid it'll just lag everything and just crash <laughs> anyways um, just fucking leave uh, we should now get into this little craft here um, now we're definitely kind of tumbling around but doesn't matter too much it's space after all and when we are 
into this ship a little more. God, I use the default key bindings now, so I'm kind of lost. Um, cool antenna, by the way. I like this antenna. Very nice. In any case, let's let's board this little ship here. And I saw a uh, entrance. There we have it. This black white little thing here. So we're just gonna take forth our little There we go. Oh no. As I said, default key bindings. Wait, what? Thought so. <laughs> right. So we can now close this. Oh, that's a fancy little place. Current pressure. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So it actually calculates the pressure for us. And, uh, or of course, it's pretended pressure. There is no air in. Always put your helmet and make sure that your spacesuit is sealed before the pressurization begins. Okay, so that's a pretty cool place. Uh, I think we gotta. God damn it. Uh, I think we gotta see here. Um, fucking hell. Now we have some like FPS issues. Um, I don't know if we might need to clean up this universe a little bit. Uh, it's them. Yeah, one sec. All right, there we are. Now we're in gravity and we removed all the evil AI fleet that just <laughs> lags us up. Okay. Okay, so here we have decontamination. I, I just want to say, I just love the tubes in the roof here. <clears throat> See this turret docks and just, you know, tubes and stuff. And it's like pretty immersive. I like this. So here we have the contamination facility. That's cool. Decon shower. Please follow the medical officer's instruction. Well, that's cool. And here we have the last entry. Newcomers have passed the routine medical check. I unlocked the door for them and relocked it after they left. What this? I don't know what that does. Anyways. Uh, so here we have many kind of types of showers. Cool. And here we have a little med checkup. Now I, I kind of don't know what... Oh, that's the lights. Okay. I'm just curious. I mean, there are buttons here. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just... Let's just... Check around a little bit here. <laughs> we want this... We, we don't want this uh, exploration to be an hour. <laughs> I need to be a little bit more efficient. Uh, so, this is a pretty dark room, yeah. But it's kind of the spacesuit dressing room, so that's cool. Anyways, uh, which way is which way? That's probably the right way. Attention! You may enter only if the medical officer unlocked the door. Oh! Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Then I know what the button does. You're A-OK. -okay. Thanks. Now it's green. That's pretty cool. I mean, Deep Space Mechanic, he uh, usually has a reason for, like, <laughs> every button everywhere. So that's why I spammed the button, because I was like, um, this probably does something. Because 
he rarely puts uh, buttons anywhere for show. They usually does do something like every time. It's kind of amazing, but um, he's like that, which is nice, which I like to look around in his, uh, his uh, big builds. Yep. By the way, we have a lot more coming from him because I haven't checked the space station yet. And uh, I promised to do it. This he kind of contacted me the first time he made it, and I was like, I will check at it, and then I didn't uh, because I had so much to do, and uh, you know, other stuff, life and shit that I needed to do. So it didn't happen. But then he updated it anyway, so it's freshly updated. So we'll check on that too. Not this time, of course, but that's like an that's like an two hour stream by itself. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't read. Uh, towards the hangar bay. Towards the hangar bay. And towards the core room. And the general elevator. So here we have... Uh, let's check the hangar then. Well, this is some random flashy stuff. What's that? Why does it glow? I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's pretty nice in interiors. I like it. It looks very spaceship. Um, it's not too much, but it's still, it's still decorated and stylish. And I really enjoy that you know this kind of dark design. I also try to keep my builds pretty dark because it's so much more moody and spacey. Many people try to like make it lit and nice so everything looks like you know Star Trek. It's like everything is well lit and, and everything is perfect. And um, some people like that, I don't. Airlock, airlock. We have another airlock here. Let's see here. Oh yeah, it calculates down the pressure. Oh, there we go, and now we may proceed. It's pretty cool. So hangar bay inventory. Four laser beetle fighters, eight laser frog fighters, port side hangar door, open close. Okay, wow. Well, let's open the hangar door then. Yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty majestic opening. I like that. I like that. Okay. So uh, I didn't even notice the door from the outside to be quite honest uh, so that's the thing what's this I don't know what block that is why 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 don't I recognize this block oh huh. I'm so curious what the heck is this block okay I'm gonna check er I stole it Strength mine. Oh, it's uh, one of those mine layer stuff. Okay, good. Sorry, then I know. <laughs> it's just that. All right. So, uh, what do we have more? We have maintenance access. Okay. Oh, right. So here is a lot of logic we shouldn't probably touch. Oh, okay. From okay, so oh god, no. Uh, okay, so the engines spin. Move, strafe, what? Okay. Yep, I think maybe uh, it probably works by itself, so we shouldn't mess with anything before we tried it. Probably. It's pretty packed in here. Um, let's check them later. These drones and stuff. Now is this a... Okay, so that's we can hover up and down there. Alright. Uh, now, we have a small problem. And that is, of course... Alright, um, I'm trying to know where I am and where you should go. So we can probably take a quick little look of this hangar later. Um, and we can also jump in one of the fighters when we're in the core. 
so we'll be back, but this is just the main overview of the hangar thing. Uh, this build is updated also, I don't know how recently, uh, like, I, it's pretty recently, but I'm not sure if it's kind of updated to the later systems. Um, yep, okay, great. Let me through. Um, so, we'll notice if the power is stable or not, but it's uh, it's uh, new power in any case. It uses new power, of course. So, uh, I don't know if it needs to be, you know, if, if it has the power worm uh, blocks in there. So, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so, uh, right side towards the core. Right. I th oh, right. I think these rooms probably... Wait, what? Where's the hangar bay? I'm not sure if... There is probably a right and left side airlock, isn't there? This is like the reverse. Isn't there? Like, I think so. Yep. Yep, okay. It's mirrored, so we have two entrances like that so we need two medical officers just to run the <laughs> run the you can get in or not okay core quantum computer room that sounds cool we're so authorized let's get in here use this lever to unlock relock the doors hydraulic wow okay so we need to use... I've seen his levers before. Space mechanic and his levers. I love the levers. And it's just... It's kind of a locking mechanism. And then we need to use this lever to open the room. Oh, look. That's neat. That's neat. Wow. Now I just need to check that animation again. Boom. Wow. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Chick. Very nice door. Very nice doors. Standing ovations for <laughs> the doors. And yeah, by the way, D Deep Space Mechanic was the one that gave me idea for the uh, Vertigo transport that uh, you have to kind of turn the engines on to even access the core. So that's, yeah. Energy systems. So this is the core room. Quantum core quantum computer. Cool. Uh, so here we can access. This is basically the where you steer the computer from the ship. I mean, basically. We also have the AI here, of course. Oh, it's yeah. It's built in March two thousand and. 18. It's older than I thought. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was so slow. I was uh, I was still in Japan um, at that time, so I had a lot to do before I left there with, you know, research and stuff. Okay, open signal receiver. This is probably stuff we shouldn't Yep. Um mess with but what does it do i mean doesn't this mean that we might so we can close and open all doors maybe it's dangerous um yep it might you know mess up some <laughs> it's cool though these tubes that go here yep that's very cool uh, now we are locked in, ain't we? No, wait, what? How? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. In any case, uh, let's check around a little bit. Uh, towards the hangar bay. Towards the hangar bay. Okay, good. And here we have the elevator. 
Oh god, so many floors. Wow, tell me a G. Okay, it, now it's somehow... Is it the auto closing door? Hmm, interesting. In any case, I mean, there can't be two cores. I'm not that lost. Okay, so now we're getting into the ship, yeah. This is kind of the default vision. Starboard airlock. Ooh, here we have the main place. Outer camera. Port side airlock. Let's see, starboard is right side. Port side is left side. Yes. Cool, so that's the cameras there. Then we can just make a quick fly by in the ship here. Okay, so we do have launching mechanisms for the drones, which is very cool. I almost uh, expected that to be honest because, because uh, Deep Space uh, does advance stuff like that. Um, which is very nice, very nice, but you know, <laughs> I try to not expect uh, <laughs> super builds every time I try to keep myself at the humble expectation level because you know I wouldn't do such advanced stuff all the time it's you know sometimes so yeah it's always good to have a uh, limited expectations it'll be much uh, much more uh, how should you say um, humble and uh, Less of a douchebag, basically, <clears throat> if you do that. So, uh, let's uh, go and have a little check into the space here. Wow, that's some pretty cool stuff. We don't want to, you know, check too much, but... Uh, okay, so here we have Ul the Fighters. Yep. This is a pretty cool room. Reactor. Okay. Now the reactor is off. Hmm. Well, we naturally need to turn the reactor on again. Reactor B. Oh, wow. So we have reactor A and B. Fancy stuff. Well, um not sure where we have two reactors we might miss some fancy rail animations i'm not sure uh, but uh, yeah that's the thing cool cool panels this i never seen something like this this looks really cool so it's just like this kind of i mean i recognize all the blocks and stuff but making them in a panel like this it looks like a really great idea so here we have the reactors, look kind of pretty nuclear type reactors, somehow. Ooh, and I love this kind of vault switch, you know, there, looks very nice. In any case, I mean, it's so easy to get lost in this, it's pretty large. So here we have the reactor room, and here we have the... I mean, seriously, thank me for restarting the game. We have solid FPS now. 60 FPS, all NPCs removed. <laughs> Great. Oh, wow. That's a void of open space. So, if you decide to use this ship to play some serious stuff, you have the opportunity to uh, increase its size. Or systems, if you wish to. It's just uh, a lot of open space here. Damn it! This is uh, <laughs> if you're not careful, you might uh, you might shoot a hole in the in the earth and you might fall down here. Oh no! Now we're lost again. Oh god! Service tunnels. We're so lost. Uh, yes. Okay. It was easier when I was in the void. We have a lot of ah. Okay. We'll just make a little fast uh, check out of the place later. Uh, walking around the floors. This is the shields area. This looks great. 
cool. Yeah, I even have info here. In any case, let's stop sneak peeking too much. What do we have? Oh god, that's so many stuff. Uh, which is cool. Rail locker, airlock covers. Okay, that's the, that's those. What do you mean, strafe? Move backwards. Oh. Well, that's unexpected. Let's see here. Now, it feels like... What happened? Isn't C like... Feels like I'm kind of okay. Now, now we're working. Okay, so we basically have uh, engine controls here. So if we wanna say roll right, okay, that's cool. And if we roll left, these spin that way. Yeah, that's pretty advanced. It's pretty advanced. And if we wanna strafe down, whoops. Now I think I messed something up. Okay, now. Strafe down. And then they kind of strafe down like that. Now I just need to... It's so big and slow, it's kind of, you know... <laughs> okay, that's cool. So here we have a right hanger. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, now stuff happens. You know, and I think it rolled too far, kind of. Okay, just like that. Stop it there. It's uh, straight enough. Recall state. So this is the main state. Now we should be looking into launching the fighters. Um, like this. Oh, there we go. Oh no, it's stuck on the engine. Um, okay. We need to rescue it. Okay. Uh, move backwards. No. Now this is roll right, isn't it? I think we messed something up a little bit. In any case, we at least have left hanger here. So that's great. Uh, left hanger. I don't know what this switch does. Any case, let's launch a fault fighter from here instead. Yay, it flies. That's so nice. And because it has this nice logic system, we can just continue to spam out fighters like this. So this is pretty damn amazing. This is some nice tech. Oh, and lo look, now we have a different model on that one. Like different types of fighters. And this is kind of this. This tray is now empty. So then we have like that times three. So we carry actually pretty much extra stuff. I almost forgot to do this now, but we actually need to go to thrust and... Uh, oh, we already... Okay, never mind. Inherit thrust, great. 
right. So now we have uh, we yep. Go back to the. So we have something called cannon doors. That's pretty cool. And there we can see. There we have a laser as well. Which I don't know what Okay, never mind. One sec. Come on. Yes, there we go. Uh so where is the front of the ship now? I think that we have a damage beam here. But this one needs to be set as weapon output, output, and then when we oh right we have zoom too. Then when we fire this, it will yep there we go here we have a nice beam in the front just like that great. Then we also have cannons. We have swarm missiles. Oh no! Yay! have more swarm missiles. Yay. Oh, so that's kind of missile plops. Just like that. Now I see some kind of... I'm not sure. I mean, it's... Okay, so now... What does it do? Does it repair or does it just fly so... Uh, yes, so uh, something smart is happening and I think they're attacking. Okay. I mean it's our sh ships, right? I think that we better just warp two sectors away from there, to be honest. All right. So there we checked some of the weapons, basically. And we can check the shields here. You see the shields? And if we draw down the inventory here we select this you can see oh that's pretty cool so it actually has two reactors no it doesn't or does it yes it does so we have reactor one reactor two they're completely separate entities to most and so if one gets damaged, we can switch reactors. So the one is the backup reactor, but they're equally large. That's pretty cool. And I also like that the reactor blocks actually go through this tube that you see in the middle. This is actual reactor. Like, they're not for show. It's it's the core of them. That's, that's pretty nice. Right. So we have reactor mobility. We also have... Uh, Big thruster, big shields, I mean. Okay. So let's put ourselves in the cabin there. And we can move around a little bit. And it's it's slow to turn. But, uh, I mean, powers, uh, ships of this power and size usually are kind of slow. It's also dreadnought. And uh, dreadnoughts are usually not known for being very fast ships. Okay, so now our turrets actually picked up on uh, on something. Ah oh, well, it's a nice test of them. That's pretty cool. Bumblebee. Okay, so pirates. Cool. So our turrets are doing full job here. Nice to know that they work, and here we see that this is actually a turret which has like several different computers there, and it just fires missiles. That's pretty nice. 
I think that this ship is capable of dealing with the uh, enemy very well itself. So what we will do is we'll just uh, yep. Now I don't know. This door has closed on me now. So okay now, like ouch 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 ouch. Damn it. Okay, so I just have to remove some blocks then. I don't even know. Anyhow, we're going to the elevator. Uh, and select floor. With the left button, press the right button to go. That's, wow, that's cool. So here we are at engineering floor. Okay, so this is the nuclear reactor room, which, this is a long tunnel. Oh wow, you see this? It has like automatic lightning. So while we walk, this is like the perfect space, um, space scary, <laughs> scary movie. Like having a fight in here, wow. It's pretty cool. I guess this is the nuclear reactor room we previously were in. Yep, which is cool. Nice. So now we just need to walk back here. I mean, It would be kind of cool actually if the if the lights were just you know, temporary lights so they're only on when you are there so have a timer on them kind of i should do that sometime like in some tunnel it's a pretty good idea it's <laughs> unnecessary but cool um so i guess we have the towards shield Yep, electric generator room, water atmosphere and management center. Uh, well, I think that's an incredibly long walk. Okay. Not sure how to get access. There it's open. This is not scary at all. <laughs> okay, so here we have the shield room, kind of. I have a slight feeling of that we might get there walking other ways, but it's always good to have kind of alternative ways to get somewhere. Anyways, let's get get back yeah, get the back to the elevator room. Bridge. Okay. Let's uh, go to bridge. All right. Elevator is going to bridge. Cool. Now we're at the bridge. And ah, that's really nice. So it's a roughly estimated 3D model of the ship, which is a necessity of a very nice ship like this to have a little a little thing. The bridge looks a very bridgey. Um, yeah, comfortable shares and stuff like that. Here we have a little server then. Yeah, this looks cool with these uh, blocks like that. It's probably some kind of 3D map of space, I guess. That's a plant, by the way, I think. Or is it? I think so. I think this is the plant. Oh gods. Oh no! 
these are actually uh, yeah never mind that's actually display blocks that hover over there that's cool L tiny bit empty here maybe but it's limited space and uh, yeah I mean one will not really hang out in the bridge anyways because you know you don't control the ship from there um, okay so we're going to habitation floor which is uh, a vastly more important floor this is where all the role playing is going on wow So here we have medical rooms and bathrooms like that. We have a kitchen and a mess hall. It looks nice. Mess hall. I like this. I like this little this little kind of media hover display block in the middle, which I think it is. And we have uh, you know air conditioners and coffee machines, supernova espresso planets, planetismal uh, cappuccino, Planet planetesimal cappuccino, I think isn't that kind of parts of a planet, no? Anyways, a good strong one, how nice. Uh, we forgot to turn the lights on, but it's a really uh, comfy room, with blue lights it seems, oh no, oh no, I destroyed it. <laughs> I accidentally destroyed the button. <laughs> That's sad. Um, yes. So, okay, now this time we won't accidentally destroy it. And here we have food. Very nice. With food. Nourishment storage. Good stuff. Oh, and here we have more storage. Okay. Easy to get lost. Okay, so the green circle will automatically call the elevator. That's cool. We've been there. Um, kitchen mess hall. Then we need to go there. Just check what's in here. Oh, right, it's the same. Medical room, captain's private room, crew dormitories, and washing facility. Cool. Hmm. Okay. It's actually very dark. But my display is kind of dark too. Oh, so here we have the shield room, just like that. Nice little walkways over those so you can see them properly, which is appreciated. Coffee, waiting halls, medical room. What is this done? Captain's private room. That's cool. Light switch. There we go. Oh, well, this is a vast private room. <laughs> is this 3D speakers, maybe? Cool. No data. Unusual. Ooh, an open drawer. I think that is. Well, looks nice. Looks nice. So we now go and check the medical room. Yep. Sick bay. Rating room and quarantine. 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 <coughs> I wouldn't know how to pronounce that. But it looks nice interiors as usual. Feels very spaceshipy. Um, ooh, nice info. I'm also, was that animated even? 
No, it was the one below. I thought so. That would be a little bit too much. And um, because space mechanic might, might watch this eventually, <laughs> he, might, he may actually just <clears throat> add that to uh, prove me wrong. <laughs> There is always another layer of complexity that can be add, added. So, okay, so here we have the male and female dormitories. Oh, these are nice. A little, uh, you can kind of block out the others, which is nice. Washing facilities. Yeah. Cool. So here we have private small washing rooms, kind of. Washing machines, wow. So the clothes themselves, they doesn't actually wash themselves. I'm surprised. Okay. Now we actually might be a little bit lost. Maybe, we'll see. No, now we are at the right, right spot. So keep you when I'm going to the next floor. I will be shaking, shaking in. Again, or now we can work kind of there already, but whatever. Technical floor. Cool. Plumbing maintenance. <laughs> Please use the. <laughs> okay. Towards. I'm kind of curious. Now I will break in here just to see. I don't know. It may be hidden for a reason. Oh god, a hole in the floor. Towards the common security center. Towards the hydrophonic gardens. That sounds advanced. I mean... Not to be unimmersive, but... I think we actually are going to spawn a little uh, build block so that we can explore this rest of it a little bit because uh, I, I feel we kind of checked the main stuff of it already so I don't want to bore you too much but I want to show it through because it deserves a, deserves a, a well made display here. Well this is So, this is of course the engineering room, then we have the storage facility which is here. I think we may actually have forgotten to check this out. We seem to have kind of toilets and stuff spread out, that's nice. Okay, the tension bay. Oh, that's cool. So here we can actually have some, you know, weird stuff. Oh, wow. Cool. So we have uh, evil robots or something lurking around there. So this uh, storage area seems pretty vast. Oh wow, A power tool storage? I don't know if it's kind of auto lights here. My flashlight doesn't do much, but yeah, I mean, I think there is a lot to, to explore here actually. But uh, well. Here we can cheat a little bit. Okay, I need to find the elevator. Okay, there we go. No. Oh. I'm lost. Surprise. <laughs> okay, so here we have the COM and alert center. 
cryo sleep chamber. Wow. So this is kind of communication bubbles. And we have, oh, long range radio transmitters. Decoding message from home base. Please wait. And we have coffee machines, of course, only the essentials. Very nice. This is a really nice room. I like this a lot. Very nice place. Hmm. Yep. This is a huge, huge ship with a lot of places to to discover. So I'm seriously lost. I don't know where the elevator is. Seriously, I need to find the elevator. So, okay, if I go like this. Okay, where are we? Elevator found. Great. Living areas. Oh, and here we have the tech floor. Cool. All right, here we have the hydrophonic gardens. We even found ourselves now. That's wrong. So I think that this is partly built with templates, like the storage rooms here. I think you realize some kind of template somewhere uh, too. And then we have entrance and exit floor, which is here, which is where we first came in. Probably. Okay, I'm lost. But, okay, we skipped two floors. That makes sense. In any case, it's a cool ship, and it's definitely worth a check out. Um, we might take a quick little look inside these. So here we have one of the fighters. Okay, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, crammed fighter there. So it's, you know, not much to kind of check into. However, this one, oh god, now we're st stuck between all this stuff. This is a larger vessel, and of course, kind of need to expel it to be order to explore it but i think this is kind of crammed systems also laser beetle fighter yep well in such a case i think that this will do it for this little ship review which kind of turned out longer than i thought but there we are it's a lot to explore and we didn't even look at everything so uh, well you should definitely you should definitely download it and have a check yourself this is a well-built craft in any case this gym is in total nori channel and uh, we will be building more in pandora haven we'll be reviewing and checking out other ships and we will be uh, do a lot of other stuff and play other games too if you're into those I know some people are only into one game kind of on the channel, but in any case, I'll try to do my best uh, at the free time I have to make videos, which is uh, not so much as I would like to have time to do videos, but well, can't have everything. Not at this state. I need to. Uh, get a little bit bigger to on YouTube before I can focus more on it like a lot bigger so that's that's that but in any case hope you enjoyed see you around and uh, well don't forget to check out the streams we do in Starmade 2 which we hold on Twitch so follow me there see you around this is Jim Adesim Total Nourish Channel officially signing out <laughs>